In this problem, we are trying to find the roots of a quadratic equation, and this one's got a leading coefficient greater than 1, so maybe it'll give us a little bit of a headache when we try to factor it, but I think that's still probably the right approach for this one. The first thing I'm going to do is set this equation equal to 0, so, we're, so it's ready for factoring by adding 25 to both sides. And that is going to give us 9y squared minus 30y and plus 25. Now, when we factor this, we're going to have two factors. And the first term, the y term, is going to be uh, have a coefficient with factors of 9. So either 1 and 9, or 3 and 3. And the last term is going to have um, factors of, of 25. And they're both going to be negative, because this number is positive, but we have a negative number in the middle. The only way that happens is when both those second terms in the binomials are negative. So this is going to be, you know, 1 and 25, sorry, negative 1 and negative 25, or it's going to be negative 5 and negative 5. And I'm just sort of looking at this now. I'm seeing what kind of multiplication combinations we can have. What we want is for these things to, to uh, multiply out to 25, but then to add up with the y terms to this negative 30y. I'm going to make a guess here of 3y and 3y. And when I put that in and I think about it for a second, what I see is if I have minus 5 here, my middle term is going to be negative 5 times 3. That's a negative 15. And I'm going to have two of those that are exactly the same. And that's going to add up to a negative 30y. So this is it. This is correct. If you're not sure about that, uh, go ahead and foil that out, and you'll get this, this quadratic. Um, you know, sometimes this is a um, just a, a matter of trial and error, plugging things in and see if the middle terms work. Uh, I think I got lucky here. So we've got 3y minus 5 equals 0. Uh, we would set both of these equal to 0, except they're exactly the same. So we really only have to set 1 equal to 0. And then solve this. So we'll add 5. And we get 3y equals 5. And then divide by 3. And we get y equals 5 thirds. So that is uh, the root of this quadratic equation.